The hackberry trees in this community are an asset for shade, cooling, and to create a better environment. Unfortunately, there's a new problem that has come around called the hackberry aphid that is making these trees more of a nuisance. My name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist. This is a fairly recent problem that has erupted just in the last few years. The leaves are covered with these little white insects. There's a little closer view. See if we can zoom in a little closer still. A little out of focus, but the tree is covered with thousands and thousands of these little sucking insects that cause the tree to drip. Now the problem is, if you park your car underneath one of these trees, it becomes a sticky mess. The road becomes sticky. You walk on the surface of the, of the asphalt and your shoes stick to the street. This was not a problem a few years ago. This is a problem that has erupted in the last three to five years. So what do you do about it? In constrained communities, external spraying of pesticides and toxins is often frowned upon, so it's a difficult thing to deal with in a conventional manner. I've recommended using high-pressure hoses and pressure washers. If you're careful, you don't want a tight, uh, harsh beam, but you want a, a big fan. And you can wash off the leaves, and it does a fairly good job of cleaning up the mess. But controlling these insects is going to be an ongoing battle. Some people have resorted to putting injections into the trees and allowing the tree to systemically try to control it. I have found that this is ineffective. If you go to the UC Davis website, you'll see that this is a procedure that actually causes harm to the trees. Continued applications of these injections and inserting these toxins into the trunk of the tree causes the trees to develop trunk cankers and areas of decline. Continuing it annually will cause these areas to, to actually merge and cause large areas of, of dieback on the trunk. There is a close-up of last year's injection and you can see that it is cracking and there is some oozing. Somebody is identifying this, so they put a little bit of white paint to uh, locate the, the most recent injections from last year's application. And this is from a few months ago, and you can see there is excessive weeping and oozing from the most recent uh, uh, injections in the tree. And finally, on this last photograph, this trunk has had numerous injections over the years, which are all leading to trunk problems. There's Some of these injections are joining and some of them are creating areas of, of dieback and um, bark decay. So uh, if you'd like to know more about the hackberry aphid, Google it and you'll find a great report at the UC Davis website. Once again, my name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist.